Shalom. I want to start giving all praises due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Rakh Kadah. Respect and honor to all your elders and apostles. A salutation to your brothers out there preaching the gospel of truth. Okay? And um, we're going to go into Leviticus 18. All right? But I want to do a couple of things first. I get into that. Start with this one. Since you were last here, um, why are you back? Well, I might be pregnant by my father. I'm two months pregnant, um, two months uh, behind on my period, and yes, I am on birth control pills, but it seems like it's not working. How do you know, and if it's actually going to come out looking all weird? Scientifically, it's been proven. Okay, that but that's just a method. <laughs> if you keep going through life that ignorant of the facts, I don't know how you're ever going to enjoy it. I really don't. You were abused throughout your life. And I believe that throughout this abuse by different men in your life, your father is just, he's jumping on that pile of men that have abused you and now he's abusing you. Another you thing. also suspect your father's cheating on you. Yes, I do. One of my family members came, came, came over to the house and she kept saying that she uh, wants him back and she wants to be <laughs> with him and be a family. What are you trying to get pregnant? Well, I mean, you know what? I am 18, I want to have seven kids. Do you understand what kind of, what could happen to the kid? Yeah, but you know what, how how do you know that and if you don't risk it? Risk if it, if you don't I even try. You want to take? You won't even try? You risk the Oh my God, are you serious? Really? Yeah, what would you do? Is that taking your pill? Yeah. You don't want to take responsibility, but you're going to have to. Responsibility for what? You act like what? a take her home every night and abuse her or something. You are abused every time you sleep with her. That's your opinion, yeah. Brittany, you are not pregnant. Oh, yeah. Since you've been in a relationship, have you had sexual intercourse with any other man besides Morgan? You answer no. And the results is, Brittany, you told the truth. Morgan, you were asked, other than women she knows about, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Brittany? You answer no. Results for that question is you did not tell the truth. <laughs> she knows that she took the lie detector test. Twenty four seven. And she told the truth. Well, you're not with her twenty four seven. Yeah, I am. If you were, she wouldn't want to come on the <laughs> take a lie detector this test. This is ridiculous. <laughs> no, get away from Don't me. Don't think about this for me. <laughs> me. me. I can't you believe you did, you did that. I can't believe you did that. Maybe you should get a text message when you're about to have sex. I know it sounds crazy, but I talk to my son as a real man, as a, as a young man, a responsible young man. The text can say anything. Let's hook up. You know, I can't give him the words, you know, bring your condoms. I don't care what it says, but he needs to have frank conversation uh, about consensual sex if that is what he is doing. And I also suggested he send a text after. And I don't care if it sounds crazy. My job as a mother is to advise him. This is the one, my bad. Now to a disturbing story out of California. A mother of three was arrested for allegedly having sexual relationships with at least two underage boys on her child's hockey team. She's free now after posting $25,000 bail. KBC's Eileen Freyer has the details from Orange County, California. Katya Davis accused of having unlawful sex and committing lewd acts with at least two boys who played with the Beach City Lightning ice hockey team. Authorities allege the boys were her own son's teammates, 15 years old or under when they... Oh, 
All right. Well, you get to just to this, right? And what I want to go over Leviticus 18, okay? And the reason why I want to go over this is because a lot of us today look at this that this is normal. Now, you may say to yourself that um, we know that. We don't need nobody to tell us this. But you got people that's sick in their mind, and they're doing these abominable things. And I want to bring out Leviticus 18, the law, okay? Um, what the Heavenly Father say things that, that you should do and you should not do. Because we're living in a world that accepts good, bad for good, and good for bad, okay? And we also got a scripture that says the earth is out of course. And we also got a scripture, Joel 9, 24, the earth is given in the hand of the wicked. So um, we have these things that's coming out and the world is putting it that it's okay to do. But those are the laws of man. They are not the laws of the most high. So what we must do to keep to, to, um, to make it to the kingdom of heaven, okay, or to have immortal life, to keep the commandments. And um, that's your answer. That's your hope. That's your faith. There's no excuses. And this is the law of life. This is the true law of liberty, okay? So let me start off with that. Um, I might be starting off with that all the time when I start doing the videos. Because um, it's powerful. And it's one of my favorites. That's all. Leviticus 19, 16. It says, And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why thy call be good? There is none good but one. That is, Yahweh. But if thou wilt enter into life, Keep the commandments. All right. So let's get into it. Let me go to Leviticus. Wait a minute. Leviticus 18. Let me get into this. Okay, let's get it. Um, okay. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, give the following instructions to the people of Israel. I am the Lord, your power. So to do not act like the people in Egypt where you used to live or like the people of Canaan where I am taking you, you must not Imitate their way of life. Copy their way of life, right? Hold on. You must obey all my regulations and be careful to obey my decrees. For I am the Lord, your power. If you obey my decrees and my regulations, you will find life through them. What? If you obey my decrees and my regulations, you will find life through them. I am the Lord. Verse six, you must never have sexual relationships, relations with the close relative. You hear that? So I gave you a couple of skits. It wasn't right on target, but we got to talk about it. You must never have sexual relationships with the close relative, for I am the Lord. For I'll give you an example, because I'm going to talk street hood. All right. For my people, so you can understand this. I don't give a damn how fine your cousin is. I don't give a damn how fine your sister is. Okay? You can't have sexual intercourse with them. Period. Read on. Do not violate your father by having sex relations with your mother. You hear that? Do not violate your father by having sexual relationships with your mother. So if you're in a sick psychic thinking of that, all right, that ain't for you to do. Okay? 
Do not violate your father by having a sexual relationship with your mother. She is your mother. You must not have sexual relationship with her. Don't have sex with your goddamn with your damn mother, nigga. All right? Do not have sexual relationship with any of your father wives. Mm -hmm. Father wives? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Read that again. <laughs> Do not have sexual relations with any of your father's wives, for this would violate your father. So your father had many wives or it was allowed, so you were all allowed to have more than one wife if you could handle it and take care of them. That's another topic. I ain't getting into that. I'm talking about the laws. All right? Number nine. And I didn't say it. The scriptures said it. So don't fight me. Fight the scriptures. Verse nine. Do not have sexual relations with your sister or her half-sister. Okay. So let's say my father has another household with another wife and he have daughters from them. Those are my sisters. Can't use that excuse that we got different mothers so you can have sex with them. It's still wicked. You shouldn't even have that thought in your mind. Whether she is your father's daughter or your mother's daughter, so even if your mother have another um, um, child or daughter from another man, that's still your sister. So whether it's from your father or your mother, you can't have sex with them. I have to put this because our people are doing this shit. Okay? They're making excuses of it. And they will use that excuse just like that, which you said, what I just read. Read it again. Ah. Uh, do not have sexual relations with your sister or half-sister, whether she is your father's daughter or your mother's daughter, whether she was born into your household or someone else's household. So I have sisters, some from my father's side, from my mother's side. Either one of them is no access. No access granted. It's wrong. Okay? And don't tell me that because you had niggas that's been do been doing that with uncles sleeping with nieces, nieces sleeping with uncles. Don't tell me this don't exist. Read on. Do not have relations with your granddaughter, whether she is your son's daughter or your daughter's daughter, <laughs> for this would violate yourself. Do not, 11, do not have sexual relations with your stepsister, the daughter of any of your father wives, for she is your sister. Do not have sexual relations with your father's sister, for she is your father's close relative. So that would be your aunt, nigga. Your aunt might look nice and, and beautiful, all right? No, assets not granted. Do not have sexual relations with your mother's sister, for she is your mother's close relative. Assets not granted. Do not violate your uncle, your father's brother, by having sexual relations with his wife, for she is your aunt. Access not granted. Do not have sexual relations with your daughter-in-law. Okay, so your son get married. He has a uh, he has a wife. He has a wife. She's off limits. So I have two sons. All right, one my marriage, and another one by marriage. All right, but if they have wife, one of my son has a, a wife. Access not granted. You should be looking at her as a family member. You don't look at her as an enticing in any way like that. It's wrong. Access not granted. She is your son's wife, so you must not have such relationships with her. Do not have sex relationship with your brother's wife, for this would violate your brother. So my brother had one wife, and his wife was fair looking. All right? You're not supposed to look at her like that. That's my brother's wife. It's wrong, all right? Do niggas do that? Yes, they do that, all right? And this is what the world we're living in. They're not even paying attention to this. This is what they're doing. I know plenty of people that's sleeping with their nieces. There's plenty of niggas that's sleeping with their, their brother's wife or their father's wife. It's abomination. It's wrong. Read on. Do not have sexual relations with both a woman and her daughter. Okay, so you get married. Your, um, your wife has a daughter, but she's not from you, okay? But but your, your marriage course, she's off limits, all right? It's wrong. So do not have sex relations with both a woman and her daughter. And do not take her granddaughter, whether her son's daughter, to her to daughter or her daughter's daughter, and have sexual relationships with her. 
They are close relatives. And this would be a wicked act. So you'll be a wicked person. All right. 18. While your wife is living, do not marry her sister and have sexual relations with her, for they would be rivals. You see that? Neither shall thou take a wife to her sister to vex her, to uncover her nakedness besides the other in her lifetime, because they'll be rivals. That's causing tyrant in your house, and it's a wicked act, a wicked deed. You niggas hear these idiots me ignorancy, ignorance, talking about they messed with, yo, the mom's bad, man. She got a fatty. She looking good, but I'm talking to the daughter, but the mom's looking at me. Nigga, that's wrong. 19. Do not have sexual relations with a woman during her period or menstrual impurity. Oh, so what does that mean? Your woman is on her period. You're not supposed to have sex with her. You're not supposed to hit that red light. Have <laughs> red light. And this is serious because you just to hear niggas today don't think there's nothing wrong with that. Okay? You horny or you saying you horny. You like, oh, yo, man, I'm about to run that red light. It's, the bo it's, it's wrong, man. Okay? Do not have sexual relationship with a woman during her period or menstrual impurity. You got that. That's clear. All right? Do not defile yourself by having sexual intercourse with your neighbor's wife. So a married woman and your neighbor's wife, you're not supposed to have sex with her. We react. 20. 21. Do not permit any of your children to be offered as a sacrifice to Molech, for you must not bring shame of the name of your power. I am the Lord. So you have people at that time, some people still probably sacrificing. And in, 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 all this stuff is nothing new under the sun. You may not hear of it, or we may read it here, but that still exists. Niggas are sacrificing their son for spiritual power from the left hand side of Satan. And you're like, whoa, that's spooky. They're doing it. You got to understand what we live, where we living at, and what kind of place we living in. And they're doing that. They're doing that for insurance policies. I've seen some of the, my wife be watching Lifetime. Man, you see some how these niggas scheme on killing people to get that money. You know, they kill their parents. They kill their, their, their own wife and the kid and make it look like somebody broke into the house. And, and That's sacrificing it for money's sake. But it's still sacrificing it. All right? And it says in this case, it says... We at 21, do not permit any of your children to be offered as a sacrifice to Molech, for you must not bring shame on the name of your God. I am the Lord. You hear that? Now, we're going to read 22, but I'm, I got precepts for 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. All right? So let's, let's go to Leviticus 20.13. If any man also lie with mankind, as he lie with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And listen to this in verse 14. And if any man take a wife and her mother, it is wickedness. They shall be burnt with fire. Both he and they, they are to be that there be no wickedness among them. You get that? You understand that, right? So, niggas that be talking about messing with the wife and messing with the daughter, you should be burnt. That's the same sexual act, death, as homosexuality. Thus says the Lord. So my video should be, not be put down because I'm reading the most high laws. Okay? It's not me saying this. It's the most high saying this. Okay? This is spiritual. So if this video get taken now, I'm going to sue you. Because this is the Lord's word. It says, um, what does it say? Um, freedom of speech. So I'm using your law. 
I'm using God's law, which is the highest law of more. So that means you will be violating this. Read it again. And if any man, read it again. This is Leviticus 20 and 13. I'm going to read 13 to 14. If any man also lie with mankind, two men, so if I see the man and I think he's attractive and I have sexual intercourse with him, I have to say it like that because you niggas would be idiots. Okay, if any man also lie with mankind as he lie with womankind, both of them have committed an abomination. We have to find out what is abomination. Let's go here. And this is what America is carrying out. This is the things that America is carrying out. Abomination. Read, look at that. Strong's H, 8441. Toeva. 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 All right. A disgusting thing. Abomination. Abominable. In ritual sense of unclean food, idols, mixed marriages. What? Mixed marriages? You reading this for yourself. This is for edification. So some say, oh, it's love. White man, the so-called black man, being together, a white man and a so-called black woman being together, mixed marriages, abomination, man on man. Okay? This is what this says. This is out of the Blue Letter Bible. So sue them and sue the Most High. Take it up with him. A disgusting thing, abomination, abominable. In ritual sense of unclean food. What are unclean food? I gave you that earlier. Pork, lobster, seafood, catfish. Why would you want to put something that's abominable in your damn body? What excuse is that for you to make? But a Christian is going to say, God love, he'll forget. He don't, God don't matter if you eat a pork sandwich. You have no love for the most high. And you error not knowing the scriptures because this is clearly in this in the verse. So you're ignoring it because you're doing what you want to do. Read it again. A disgusting thing, abominable, abomination, abominable, in ritual sense of unclean food, idols, and guess what? Mixed marriages. They love each other. So, so-called black woman and a China man being together, that's an abomination. <laughs> I've never seen that. An ethical sense of wickedness, ETC. Let's go to this. Strong's H, 8581. Ta'ev. Ta'ev. To abhor, be abominable. Abominable. Do abominably. Damn. To be abhorred, be detested. In the ritual sense, an ethical sense. To loathe, abhor, regard as an abomination. In the ritual sense, in the ethical sense. To cause to be an abomination. In the ritual sense, in the ethical sense. And look at this. Morally detested. Make be. Abhor. Red. Mm. Be commit. More. Do abominable. Utterly. That's all, folks. No more need to say. Read that again. Strong's H, 8441. Toeva. Toeva. To dis read it again, to a disgusting thing, abominable, abomination, abominable, and ritual sin, uh, unclean fools and idols, mixed marriages, mixed marriages, an ethical sense of wickedness. All right. Back to the program. 
All right. Okay. So I say, if a man take his wife, if a man take a wife and her mother, it is wickedness. They shall be burnt with fire. Burnt with fire. So even that is an abomination. Both he and they, that there be no wickedness amongst you. And if a man lie with a beast, beastliality, he shall surely be put to death. And you shall slay the beast. Kill that goddamn animal too. Kill a man and an animal. Burn them. These are on the same level. This is spirit. This is a this is a sentence of death. Now, eating pork is not a sentence of death, but it's a judgment. And I believe ultimately it will leave you to death. See how to say it like that? See, these are laws. These three is to put you to death. And it's detestable. But the laws of eating pork is detestable like hell, like that. But it's not a straight up boom to death like these other three. In the old ancient time, you would be put to death right on the spot. All right? So understand this. Read it again. And if a man lie with a beast, that he shall be put to death, and you shall slay the beast. And if the woman approach unto any beast and lie down there, that shall kill the woman, kill that damn woman, and the beast. They surely shall be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And if a man shall, this, I'm in Leviticus 20. And if a man shall take his sister, his father's daughter, or his father, his mother's daughter, and see her nakedness, and she have sex with them. It is a wicked thing, and they shall be cut off in the sight of their people. Cut off, being put to death. He, he have uncovered his sister's nakedness. He shall bear his iniquity. And here it is. And if a man shall lie with a woman, having her sickness, her period, and she uncover her nakedness. He have discovered her fountain, her blood, and she have uncovered the fountain of her blood. And both of them shall be cut off from among their people. And thou shalt not uncover thy nakedness of thy mother's sister, nor thy father's sister, for he hath uncovered his near kin. They shall bear their iniquity. Okay. So now let's go back to here. I read the 20. We go on um, Leviticus 20, but we'll be back at this one. Do not practice homosexuality. What? What is homosexuality? No, 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 no. Do not practice homosexuality. Just in case you don't get it. see it in here. It says, do not practice homosexuality. Why they don't give me that? Let's go to the dictionary. And keep in mind of this. I want to let you know everything I've read with these scriptures, if you repent, you can still be saved. If you turn back from those acts, because once you understand these acts and you never, once you hear this, you're accountable for them. So you could stop this and you could change around doing any of these sins that I've read to you. Okay. And change your ways. And the Lord will grant you, um, liberty of peace, which is the laws. Homosexuality. It gives you these scriptures. So homosexuality is Genesis 19, 1 to 13. 
um, Leviticus 18.22, Leviticus 18.29, Leviticus 20.13, Romans 1.26 and 27, Romans 1.32, 1 Chronicles 6, 9 to 11, and 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 8 to 10. Okay? Look at this. This is all on that. So if you say you love God, the Most High, whose name is Jehovah Bashem Yahweh Shah, you would listen to these. And all you Christians, you're supposed to be, be you're supposed to preach this gospel and tell your people. You're not supposed to be telling them that this is for every that uh, the Lord don't like to sin and all that other stuff. Because according to this, this is judgment of death. If you continue to live them out. Now, if you stop doing it, the Lord will show you mercy. But this is a high treason against the Lord. So if you really love somebody, you would really be telling them that, hey, please and show them this. And then after that, you leave it alone. You mention it here and there. OK, but to ultimately pray for them because maybe the Lord have a sanction on them and they can't see. OK, because the Lord can turn them around. It's not up to us, but we are supposed to deliver the message. And some of you Christians are scared to deliver that message to loved ones. You won't say anything. You go along to get along. You go along to get along. So these are those attributes, these scriptures, the commandments of what you're supposed to be doing. And you're supposed to tell your loved ones because that's loving your neighbor. That's the agape love. That's, chari that's charity right there. You're saving lives. All right. And then... So that was 23. Let's go to 24. A man must not defile himself by having sex with an animal, and a woman must not offer herself to a male animal to have intercourse with it. This is a perverse act. What? Perverse act. A perverse act. Trying to see if I see it. I like that word perverse, perverse act, because I wanted to be emphasis on this. Hmm. Well, let's go back. We could do it from here. This is a perverse act. Look at that right there. Dictionary. Of a person or their actions showing a deliberate, showing a deliberate and obstinate desire to have in a way that is unreasonable or unaccepted. This is the spirit of the world today. Is that not true? Often in spite of the consequences, so they don't give a damn and they enjoy these desires in this act. But yet, still, they'll come back and say they love the most high. You got to be aware of somebody like that. That's crazy, man. Read it again. Of a person of their actions showing a deliberate. What does deliberate mean? Let's hit that. A person of their actions showing a deliberate and obstinate desire to have to behave in a way that is unreasonable or, un or unaccepted, often in a spite of their consequences, often in a spite of the consequences. They don't care what their judgment is. Damn. You see that? Um, what's that scripture? Um, um, what is that, Corinthians? Hold on, let me get Corinthians. I'll get back to this. I 
I want to get this scripture that's right on the target. Um, what is it? It's um a reprobate. My, where is that at? I think that's in Corinthians. Or Romans 128. Let's go back to that. Romans 128. Mm -hmm. We almost done. Romans 28. 128. And we have to speak these laws is because this is what the people are breaking today. And this, these are the judgments that's going to take place by doing this. So if you love somebody and we talking about agape love. That's the highest love that you can show to an individual. Okay. It's by showing them what they could do to keep them alive because the Lord's judgment is true. Okay. Romans 128. And even as they did not retain the most high in their knowledge. Listen to this. The most high gave them over to a reprobate mind. What is a reprobate mind? Wait a minute. What is that? We got to get that. Whole thing freezed up on me. It's frozen up. All right, Romans one twenty. I'm gonna get it in here. Yeah, when these when something good come out, it don't want you to stop. But if I was talking about some garbage. P. Diddy or girls with big booties. <laughs> if I was talking about the girls with the big booties, I'd be all right, then, right? All right, it says Romans 128, King James Version. And even as they did not like to retain the Most High of their knowledge, the Most High gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. You hear that? Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, magnanimity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of the Most High, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of the Most High, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. See that? Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So they have pleasure in these things that they're doing. So the Most High gave them up for that. But I wanted to give you the reprobate sure so back to Leviticus we're gonna close Leviticus 18, right? All right, so Leviticus, get it. So we was at, um, anyway, 
We was at where we were at. I do Romans 128 over here. Okay, so we back to here, right? And it says, You should not eat anything. All right. So we add, um, I think we did. We're going to go back to Leviticus 19. 26. No. Okay. Where's the point? Yeah, we are back at 19. Was it 8? No. 18. I'm sorry. Leviticus 18. I almost lost track. So we at the twenty verse twenty two, Leviticus eighteen twenty two, um, verse twenty three. Neither shall thou lie with any beast to defile thyself thereof. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down thereto. It is confusion. Defile not yourselves in any of these things. Okay, listen up. Defile not yourselves in any of these things. For in all these, the nations are defiled, which I cast out before you. You see that. For in all these, the nations did these things, are defiled, which I cast out before you. And the land is defiled. Isn't America defiled by all these filthy acts and deeds? The Lord is telling you, I cast out before you, and the land is defiled. Therefore, I do visit the iniquity there upon it, and the land itself vomit our her inhabitants. You shall therefore... Keep my statutes and my judgments and shall not commit any of these abominations, neither any of your own nation, nor any stranger that sojourn among you. For all these abominations have the men of the land done, which were before you, and the land is defiled, that the land spew not you out also by you doing the same thing. When you defile it, as it spewed out the nations that were before you, for whosoever shall commit any of these abominations, for whosoever, we had 20 verse 29, Leviticus 18, 29, for whosoever shall commit any of these abominations, even the souls that commit them shall be cut off from among the people. That means kill. That don't mean separate and put them in another island. To kill them, death. Therefore shall you keep my ordinances. I love that. That's the commandments, the laws, the statutes. That you commit not any of these abominable customs. They're customs, all right? Which were committed before you and that you defile not yourselves therein. I am the Lord, your power. All praise is due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. This is Leviticus 18, the laws. Shalom.